Good evening and welcome to New York Red Bulls post-match media availability following the New York Red Bulls 2-2 draw against Los Angeles FC. We're joined by New York Red Bulls head coach Sandra Schwartz. As always, use raise hand function. I'll call you as coach a question. First hand I saw was Anthony. Anthony, when I start recording, the floor is yours. Recording in progress. Uh, coach, can you speak a little bit to the team's resilience, especially after... Um, the penalty and just how they were able to not only keep playing the game but also come very close to winning yeah i so i think the whole game was a great fight and uh, i'm very happy that we scored uh, after that we scored two goals after set pieces that's that's good i think it's uh, the first goals now after these corner situations and uh, first 20 30 minutes uh, was very good uh, very good structure and also Good moments in our ball position, very good moments in our counter press. Uh, then we lost a little bit the control the last 10, 15 minutes of the first half, and the second half was great fight from uh, both teams, and it's also a cr cr uh, high quality of, of the opponent of LAFC. And uh, then uh, we concede this penalty goal, and uh, after that was also great direct, uh, great uh, reaction of the whole team after 2-2 which we conceded in the last two minutes uh, was also a great reaction and we have the big chance uh, for, for three points here. But um, I'm very satisfied, I'm proud about uh, our team, about this fight and uh, yeah, unlucky then that we um, didn't get uh, these three points. Next we'll go to John Lupo. Uh, Sandro, one save for Loris tonight, they outshot you 15 to seven and you had 43 percent of the possession do you feel like while i do agree that the team was resilient and showed a lot of fight do you feel like that you could have maybe put a little more pressure on them maybe tried to generate a few more shots on goal to test glories yeah um the first uh, in our in our own half uh, the built up situation uh, we had a lot of good moments and uh, with our goalkeepers with our center backs but um, to find then the right balance uh, when we are in, in, in the red zone from uh, from the opponents then then to find uh, not to lose the dynamic and this was sometimes the the problem in these situations but in built up situation it was uh, a lot of moments very very good but uh, then in some situations we lost the the speed and uh, we could more deep runs in some uh, some moments and this was the the, the main problem but uh, also, it's a, it's a tough opponent here, and so we have one point. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's unlucky what I said. Next, we go to Daniel Porenstein. Sandro, talk about how important it was for Emil Forsberg to convert that chance in the second half to at least get the lead back. And did, did you take a look at yourself if it was truly a penalty uh, against Sean Nealis? I don't know. I, I didn't see this uh, in, in the video. I will I will watch it later. So I can't say something about the, the penalty situation. And it's good that Emil scored also the second goal and uh, after the chance. And uh, this is what, what we have to learn. This is the process also. We Our development is, is very good. But then when we have the result 1-0 or 2-1 in these moments, I think uh, then we can finish the game and... Um, to create more chances, and uh, this is what we have to learn. This is our development, our process then. Uh, but uh, the whole team, how they play, um, how they defend all together, that's uh, very good. But it's good that uh, Emil scored this, this goal, and it was a very important goal for us. Next, we go to Christian Ortiz. Hi, good evening, coach. Mm -hmm. um, of result um, for the point earned, it could have been three points, but uh, just wanted to ask you, were you able to speak to Noah? Um, it's an unfortunate situation similar to the one in Orlando where he tries to block the shot and it's deflected in goal. Anything that you would like to mention and, and how he can improve on that perhaps in the future? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a natural behavior from uh, center backs, especially after set pieces Then the, the second wave is coming and uh, we had some individual moments uh, sometimes in, in, in the training session also of Noah and this is natural to, to have this behavior then to, to stay in a deep position but you have to go out um, you have the goalkeeper he, he's uh, responsible to save these shots and uh, 
but it's natural for the centre back that you stay in front of the goalkeeper. You want to save this this shot, but uh, what we have to improve is uh, to to push to push out with our centre backs, and uh, this is individual development. Uh, it's also a young player, but uh, yeah, it, uh, we know that and. Uh, it's not the similar situation like in Orlando. It's, in Orlando was very difficult for him so to solve the situation. But this is especially in the second wave. You have to push out with uh, with the centre backs and not to stay in front of uh, the goalkeeper. Next we go to Matteo. Hey, coach. Um, obviously, the team did really well with set pieces today. You got two goals off of the corners. Was this something that was worked on in practice during this week? Um, did you guys kind of prepare more? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, an, it's, an, uh, it's an important issue in the game. And uh, it's not only uh, this week um, in our training session and uh, a topic. So the, the whole weeks, the whole uh, in the whole season. Um, and we had also a, a very good situation in the second half with uh, Vicky Camona, his shot after set pieces and uh, it's it's good to know that we can score also after corners, after free kicks and we need also there the quality and also to have this confidence that we can sto uh, score uh, in these uh, situations. Next, we're Gary Redman. Good evening, Coach. Um, Good evening. A couple of these matches, you've basically shown that you're a very tough out, um, basically defensively. But if, can you take us like to toward the end where Bolongo scored the the equalizing goal? Was there a breakdown in defense, or or it was just too much Bolongo, as they say, um, knowing that he was going to be the key difference whenever you walk out of with three points or not? Yeah, he's he's he has quality, and uh, we analyzed uh, this also in the in in, in the week and. His behavior, his one against one moments, and uh, what I said, the the the, the, the main task is uh, to to push up, um, to push up and to block this shot and not to stay then with the center backs in a deep position. This is the, this is the main part, and this is development. This is what we have to learn after these situations. Hey, hey everyone, we have time for two more questions with Coach. First, we'll go to Dan. How are you feeling right now uh, after several matches and several months? You've only uh, you've only lost once and you've been unbeaten most of the time. You feel satisfied at this point right now, or do you feel there's more that needs to come? Yeah, I'm very satisfied. Um, I'm very satisfied. I'm I'm proud about that. Uh, what I what I see from the whole team, from the whole club, from the staff, the atmosphere, and uh, for sure, I'm I agree that we. Um, Concede the goal in Orlando in the last moment, and uh, today, and uh, and after this uh, two, uh, after the second goal which we concede, we had the situation uh, to to make this the third goal for us for our three points. Um, but uh, I'm satisfied. I'm I'm happy with the whole team and his, the behavior, the mentality, and also which. Uh, the kind how we play. This is uh, especially in these uh, games. It's, it's, it's tough, tough opponent. Uh, LAFC in Cincinnati, uh, home game Miami. All these games. So, but uh, you, I have this feeling that that I see the quality, that I see the principles, how we want to play, and that's good. And some moments is to find the right balance. But yeah, it's only nine games now. This is uh, the process uh, now. And we'll finish up with Christian. Hello again there, Coach. Uh, Hello. Just wanted to ask you any comments on Dennis Gangar. He looked alive and actually helped contribute yeah. to that corner kick that led to the goal. No, he had uh, he had very good moments. He had very good moments, uh, especially with his deep runs um, after he came in and uh, good situations, uh, good crosses. So it was it was very good and uh, his performance today. Coach, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you.